and Morgan Swanson are years apart in school, but they share one thing academically, remembering what they learned. I loved reading, just I couldn't read the book. I would get frustrated if I got stuck on a word. I would have issues remembering to turn in assignments, to do assignments. Even if I wrote them down, I would like forget to look in my planner. Mom Deb had heard about the Learning RX program from family and decided her kids should give it a try. Morgan, she wasn't failing in school. She was getting along okay, but it seemed like she had to work so hard. And she had watched Nick struggle for years. Had taken him through tutoring programs. I had brought lots of home programs and worked with them and they would help a little bit, but it just seemed like it wasn't connecting for him. The two started the program here at the Savage location last summer. Nine. Yellow. Was it? Yep. Okay, four. I thought it was gonna be like school, but when I got here, it was like, oh, this is actually kind of fun. Just saying, I'm oh. talking about <laughs> yeah. Morgan knew she had a memory issue. Writing essays after reading a book and remembering math formulas wasn't easy. I could not remember anything that teachers would say. But after a few months of brain training. I used to be like so nervous to go to high school. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna like fail. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go into like separate classes of everybody else. And turned out, I'm like, hmm, I can do this. Sure, I'm still a little bit nervous, but I know I can do it though. One of the things I think is just confidence. I mean, she knows now that she is smart and she can do these things. Red. Let's do one more try, okay, from the top. Now I'm starting to read bigger books, um, chapter books. They're starting to get into the hundreds. Um, I'm starting to love reading. It's just getting really fun for me. My favorite book would be Judy Bloom, Fourth Grade Nothing. We spend more of our time focused on the student age, you know, children. But this, I mean, our brain has incredible plasticity that at any age, our underlying skills can improve. When it comes to our brains, the old adage, use it or lose it, holds true. When Deb saw how the program had helped her kids, she got involved too. Eight, blank, blank. I would do some of the program here and some online at home, which was a really nice balance for me. <laughs> nice job, right? Deb says she no longer feels like her mind is slipping and the fog has lifted. We went through one of the programs where I was read 15 words in a short amount of time and was able to just remember them. And so from doing that, that's something, a skill that I learned to use like when I'm going to the grocery store. These skills are, uh, they help academics, but they're the skills that make up our IQ. And they're actually more important, you know, as we get into our careers to be able to hit deadlines, remember what's, remember things, problem solve, just process. And that's why what we do is so effective. It's never too late to learn and help your body, your brain change and get better and improve.